Jean-Claude Baumgarten. I'm the president of the World Travel and Tourism Council. And what did you want to tell the um, assembled audience here at Focus Right today? What was your message? Well, the message is very clear. Uh, yes, we are going to difficult times. Yes, we are in a recession. But on the other hand, uh, there are very few industries in the world which can rebound and which can help governments to restart the economies. And one of them is travel and tourism. Why? Because in the mature markets, travel and tourism is a, becoming a part of life. And in the emerging markets, Brazil, Russia, India and China, it is becoming a very dynamic uh, part of the economy because people want to travel, people haven't had a chance to travel. And if you combine those two forces, one the mature one and the second one the emerging one, we are convinced that travel and tourism will grow as soon as there is a spark of a revival of the economy. Is your advice that you treat uh, each of those two different markets quite separately and differently? Though? Well, the advice is, uh, since the world is becoming global, the advice is, as soon as possible, start to create relationships, business relationships with those markets, because they are ready. They are ready to get international. Now is the time to do it. Does the money follow the traveller, or does the traveller now have to follow the money and where the investment is? Well, um, there are two things. First, the consumer will have to look what will be the disposable income after all those changes. The other part is that, uh, as far as the investment side is concerned, I think it is important that now uh, the investors look at the money available in those emerging markets. Uh, China is ready and they have launched a big program to build infrastructures to help the economy to continue to grow. And I, I think that's an opportunity. And you were in India um, this morning, practically. What, what, what were you doing there? Well, I was, uh, you know, we have a strong initiative in India. Because in our point of view, India hasn't, hasn't done exactly what it should be or hasn't gone after the potential they have. And we are helping the Indian government to uh, get the right place India deserves as far as travel and tourism is concerned. So if we look at them as a case study of uh, how not to do something maybe, what, what are the lessons learned? What should they well, have done? Well, the lessons learned are very, very simple. Uh, we getting there and we think little by little the message will come from the top. Because first thing is that the message should come from the top, i.e. the Prime Minister. Second, uh, initiative have to be taken infrastructures, roads, visa, you know, all those things which make uh, the flow of travel and tourism easy and seamless. And in our point of view, India hasn't reached that stage yet. That's why we're here. Of course, every industry will want the government to support it in difficult times. Um, what, why should the travel industry, being one of the more mature ones and being, you know, possibly able to stand on its own two feet, why, why should they have a, 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 a place at that table? Well actually we are not asking support from government as far as financial support is concerned. What we are asking from governments is that they are aware and that they understand the role travel and tourism can play and plays already. 10% of the world GDP is a lot. It's more than the car industry actually. And what we, what we ask actually is very simple. Please don't use us as a cash call. Don't overtax us. Just let us do what we know best, survive that crisis, and then use us when the economy restarts, because we start very fast and we rebound usually higher than we were before the crisis. And if we're going, to, as an industry, going to come out leaner and meaner, as some people were saying this morning, um, what what areas do you think are facing the most challenge? Which areas uh, are going to be potentially left by the wayside? I, I think the biggest challenges, uh, and believe me, it's not an over-optimistic point of view, 
But the biggest challenge is to look beyond the crisis. The biggest challenge is to see that the infrastructures will be ready. The biggest challenge will be that the airline industry will be ready to start up again. And the biggest challenge will be that government at long last understand that this industry is a major industry and will help them. Thank you very much.